Good day, folks, and welcome back to the channel. Well, wake me up when he's on the mountain, because I don't think he's even going to get on it. I have my doubts now. <laughs> uh, keep that positive thinking. It's a little hard at first, and then it gets easier as you go up. <laughs> I have no idea how to do this. You can do it, man. You just got to believe. This is really, really scary. I, I mean, I give him credit. He is trying to get in shape, but this seems like a little too much too quick. Yeah, this is a little bit of extremeness right here. There it is. There it is. There it is. Wow, he's actually up. That's crazy. Credit where it's due, man. I mean, he's like a mountain goat or like a bighorn sheep or something. Like a mule. Uh. Yeah, chop! He's almost at the top. <laughs> Never thought he'd do it. Yeah! <laughs> Good job, chum. Yeah! I can't believe he made it. All right, this is great. Now, how do I get down? Oh, you're good, man. We'll be heading back to the shop, dude. You have fun up there, man, all right? No, oh, seriously. Man. It's a nice chair, but I want down. <laughs> <laughs> Today, we will show you times when Chumley shocked everyone on Pawn Stars. Mount Pawn Stars. When Corey became a partner, Chum had a mission. And don't ask me how, but Chumley convinced Rick and the old man to let him redecorate the shop. Yup. I'm just as surprised as you are. They barely let him change his haircut. Will they make Chum a partner someday too after this? What's up guys? I got a surprise for all of you. Last year, Corey became partner in the pawn shop, which is awesome for Big Hoss. So I'm trying to show some initiative and maybe one day they'll make me partner too. What do you think? I don't get it. What, you're gonna start a coloring book or? My friend Human drew that. She's an artist who paints with spray paint, and she's gonna do this on the wall for us back there, on our back gate, so that when you're coming up to the shop, you can just see the three predominant Harrisons right there on the wall. So why Mount Rushmore? Why Don't you remember the amazing ride we had through the mountains to get there, the time we spent? Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Three honest faces gonna attract business. We're not gonna have no graffiti on the building. If you have ever gang banger within 20 miles, tag in the store, Chumley. No, actually, taggers will respect the fact that there's actually art there and they won't go over it. And how much is she gonna charge for this? No, she's just gonna do this as a favor. She's always looking for a blank canvas in a well-populated area. I think it looks sort of cool. I look really good. You guys look like but I like it. Of course you do. You're the most narcissistic person I've ever even heard about. So what do you think, Dad? Well, I do look a lot better than that ball head of yours. You look like a billiard ball. Have her do it, Chum. You guys won't be disappointed. Well, Chumley couldn't help but to get creative and got a painter to make a Mount Rushmore, but with the old man, Rick and Corey's faces. It looks good, though. All right, you guys. What? Mount Pondmore is done. You guys want to check it out? Sure. It better look good. Yeah, it better not suck, chump. Pretty good, huh? What do you think? <laughs> Looks pretty damn good, doesn't it? What the hell is that? That's a picture of all four of us on Mount Rushmore. Little did they know, Chum made a few last minute changes. Basically, added himself to the painting. Looking pretty sweet. Why are you there? Yeah, I made a few changes. Anyways, I look pretty good up there with you guys. And I look terrible. You yeah. don't look good to start with. You gave me like 15 chins. Well, you have three. And that's how many is there? One, two, three. It looks just like you. It yeah. does not look like me. It looks like you. Yeah, it looks like you. Cover it up. I don't like it. I don't care what you like. They did a beautiful job on me. My face is beautiful. Yeah, whatever. All right, well, maybe you guys can think about making me a partner soon. OK, son. Really? When hell freezes over. Please. I don't think they'll let Chum do anything like this ever again. The climb. While appraising a truck full of items looking for a deal, Chum finds vintage climbing gear that forces him to climb new heights. And I don't mean that figuratively. Today, my buddy Spencer showed up at the shop with an entire van full of items. I've already bought some cool phones and an SO sign that'll be easy to resell. Now I'm gonna look at the rest and see if there's any money to be made. 
So? You brought a rope. Hey man, this just isn't a rope. This is some <laughs> vintage rock climbing equipment from the Schnard Equipment Company who eventually formed Patagonia. This is the piece of pipe. That's kind of how a lot of the stuff started out with using buying stuff from hardware stores, but as time went on, it, it evolved and changed and they made it in a way that it was actually safe to use. So how do you know all about climbing? I mean, I've been uh, wrangling around some rocks a little bit in my time. I've been doing it since I was a kid and something I like to do. How much are you looking for? A thousand bucks for everything. No. I'm telling you, I'm leaving you guys plenty no. of room there. Listen, I've been wanting to showcase my rock climbing skills for a very long time. You don't time. even know how to rock climb. No, that's the point is I know that I know how, even though I've never done it, it's so freaking easy. I don't know enough about it, and I'm not gonna buy the rock climbing stuff. So why don't we just pass on this, and if you buy this like we agreed, I'll take you out rock climbing. You can show Rick your skills. I'm definitely down for that. I'll buy this from you if you take me rock climbing. I don't know if Rick wants to go rock climbing. He's not quite built for it, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm coming along, because I don't believe he's gonna do it. I've got a no-quit attitude, Rick. Once I set my mind to something that I wanna do, I do it. Like avoiding work? Okay, all right, you probably all right. like jump. To Careful, he's a shark. Well, he's not gonna smell no blood in the water with me around. <laughs> Let's go, Spence. See you later, my man. When they got to the mountain, I gotta admit, I didn't have much faith, but jokes on me, because little did I know Chum was gonna climb the mountain without falling, fading, or even stopping. This is, uh, uh this is Red Rocks, man. This is it. This is, uh, uh this is Red Rocks, man. This is it. This is it. Suck it in. Is that how I do it? Or is it good? good? It's perfect. So Corey, is he on the mountain yet? I don't see him yet. You're on it, man. Well, wake me up when he's on the mountain, because I don't think he's even going to get on it. I have my doubts now. <laughs> uh, keep that positive thinking. It's a little hard at first, and then it gets easier as you go up. <laughs> I have no idea how to do this. You can do it, man. You just got to believe. This is really, really scary. I I mean, I give him credit. He is trying to get in shape, but this seems like a little too much too quick. Yeah, this is a little bit of extremeness right here. There it is, there it is, there it is. Wow, he's actually up. That's crazy. Credit where it's due, man. I mean, he's like a mountain goat or like a bighorn sheep or something. Like a mule. Uh, yeah, chop! He's almost at the top. <laughs> Never thought he'd do it. Yeah! <laughs> Good job, Chum. Yeah! I can't believe he made it. All right, All right, this is great. Now, how do I get down? Oh, you're good, man. We'll be heading back to the shop, dude. You have fun up there, man, all right? No, oh, seriously. Man. It's a nice chair, but I want down. <laughs> <laughs> he has a great attitude and knows he can do anything he wants. So he's got my respect maybe even made me feel inspired to go to the gym and get back in shape. What do you guys think? Playing with merchandise. Ever wondered what not to do in a pawn shop? This is some advice you will never forget. Never ever play with the merchandise. Take Chumley, for example. Got a Klingon Batleth. It's a traditional weapon used by the Klingons in that Star Trek world. And I gotta get rid of it because I got a baby on the way. There's no way you're married. There's no way you've ever had a girlfriend. I don't believe it. <laughs> You look like a badass with that in your hand. So how does this work? You could hold it up like a sword like this and, and you know, go into a slashing motion. You, you know, go for headshots, slashes, uppercuts, whatever you want to do. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't want to get hit with the thing. If, um, if anything, you could have uh, your security hold it, right? You know, up front, make sure everything's uh, check. I people, think that's a good idea. People acting up. It would be pretty badass to have a Klingon sword in the shop. I'd carry it around all day and no one would mess with me. Uh, well, how much you want for it? I was thinking maybe 300 bucks. I'll give you a hundred bucks. This Batleth, it's gonna appeal to sword collectors, Trekkies, sci-fi guys, you know, what have you. It's not, I don't think it's gonna sit, sit too long in the store. Ask for 110 and I'll say yes, that way you feel like you won, okay? Can I get 110? All right, deal. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Earlier that day, a guy came into the shop to sell his Klingon Batleth sword. Corey bought it for $1.100, but the cost was gonna be higher. When Rick found a broken vase in the back and looked back at the security footage, Look at what he found out. I think I know what happened to the vase. Chum messing around with that sword. Seriously? <sighs> you know what I want you to do? I want you to email this to every employee in the company, explaining this is not how you work in the warehouse. People I'm gonna make sure Chum knows he can't be doing this kind of stuff at work. 
maybe if he's embarrassed, he'll stop doing things like this because just yelling at him's not working. Can do. Thanks. What a dumbass. It's funny, isn't it? <laughs> he really thinks he's a Klingon warrior. <laughs> what the hell is everyone laughing at out here? It's you. You're busted. Right here, look. Who's that guy? That doesn't prove anything. <laughs> You're turning red right now. Are you blushing? No, I'm just pissed off that you guys are falsely accusing me. <laughs> falsely accusing you of what? It's proof you did it. OK, here's Chum dancing around like a moron. OK, you hit the trash can. Oh, there goes the box with the vase inside of it. Now you run over, make sure you dust the box off, put it back on the cart, and run out of the room. I like the backspin move, dude. That, that looks really good on you, man. Where'd you learn that? Mission accomplished. I don't think I've ever seen Chum this embarrassed. Hopefully, he learned his lesson, and that'll be the end of it. And yes, he sent it to every single employee in the company to teach Chum a lesson. I bet he'll never play with merchandise again. Finger guard. Chumley takes a chance on a strange piece of decorative jewelry. And if I'm completely honest, I wouldn't have any faith in this so-called antique Chinese finger guard, especially because he didn't bother to call any expert. I have an antique Chinese fingernail guard. Oh, you're gonna poke someone's eye out, be careful. Better be nice. Doesn't really fit me, but, <laughs> but what better way to let him know how high class you are by a... <laughs> it's your style. Not so tacky, long silver fingernail. <laughs> Fingernail guards were worn to protect the long fingernails of the elite during the Qing Dynasty. This is a pretty amazing artifact from the time period, and I definitely want to make a deal. Plus, maybe I can get some use out of it and convince Rick I shouldn't have to work. I wouldn't want to break a nail. What were you trying to do with it? I'd like to sell it. Mm. I would like to get $250. Dollars Would you go 100 bucks on it? No, I don't think I could go $100 on that. That's. Would you go 200 on it? Would you go 240 on it? I think I'll buy it from you, just hopefully my boss will be proud of me. Okay, good deal. What always cracks me up is how he always tries to impress the other members of the crew. You gotta love it. What is that? What do you mean, what is this? It's a finger guard. Is it for picking your nose or something? You know, rich ladies wear them so that they don't have to do any work around the house. So I was thinking about wearing it so I don't have to do any work around here. Where's it from? It's from China. It's for ancient empresses in China. Did he even ask you about it? This is the first I'm hearing of it. We don't know anything about this. Neither do you. That's why you should have called Phineas. I know I made a good deal on it, that's for sure. Stop waving it around. It's really creepy. Will you go call Phineas and tell him to just come by and take a look at it? Hmm. I guess I can. And no, they weren't impressed by this thing. And even though he got lucky this time, I think he should just stick to sneakers, comics, and candy. Oh, that's quite a fingernail you got. Oh, this is amazing. Told you. Well, you know, I find this very interesting because it comes from a, a period in China's history. Boom, China! And this was worn by people in the court who absolutely did not want to lift a finger to do anything. Boom! It's pretty. I mean, I just don't know what it's worth. I'm going to say probably bidding in the right kind of auction house, it could go to $750. $750! That's $500 profit. Just admit that I know what I'm doing. Thank you, I'm, sir. I'm proud of you. At least someone is around here. I don't think he's going to be doing much work in that condition, Rick. I'm, Thank you. I'm worried. <laughs> now, don't you think it's crazy how stuff gets passed down through history? That was on some Chinese noble hundreds of years ago. Now it's in a pawn shop in Las Vegas. This is where we'll end our video. We hope you enjoyed watching. Make sure to comment, hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that notification bell for more videos like this. Share this video to your family and friends. See you soon.